You can see these are bourbons, lower proof bourbons. Okay. A and B. All right. Okay, now's your now's your chance to like do an intro. I'm not good at intros, and you can get mad at me. <laughs> I'm gonna get mad no matter what. You know? I know. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Dram Diaries. Thank you so much for tuning in. We really, really appreciate it. I am Peter and this is my lovely wife, Chanel. <laughs> yeah. And tonight, one of our favorite things to do, yes. double Dram Blind. So we have no idea what we're drinking. We just... I'm going to tell you what we think, what we'd pay for these, like what is this experience worth to us, really? And we're going to find out what we're drinking. You already know because you looked at the thumbnail, <laughs> but we don't, so pretend like you don't know. <laughs> and what glass are we starting with? I wonder. We're going to start with glacé. Wow. Yeah, I mixing it guessed. up tonight. Yeah, <laughs> compared to every other night. <laughs> That's glacé. Oh. That's nice. Hello, bakery shop. <gasps> that is like... I love oh, when there's a bakery shop in the glass. I love it. So I know like when you're nosing, they say like open your mouth, but because my nose is like messed up a little, like sometimes I just don't to get, because I need to, to get like the... Yes. Sometimes I don't so that I can just really inhale all of this. Burn your nose with all the <laughs> ethanol vapor. It's so good. It is like... Oh, I don't even care if I burn my nose. It's so good. It's like caramel apple. It is like a caramel it's, apple. It's, just... it's like being in a bakery shop. It's... This is there's a dusting of Dutch cocoa powder in the air, and there's mm -hmm. cinnamon, and there's caramel, and there's oh yeah, oh all this the good stuff. Delightful. Yes, and the sun is shining, and it's what? Oh my gosh! Look at the color difference on A to B. That's insane. A is yeah. way lighter than B. Sure is. Gosh. Okay, I wonder if these are scotches because like one without color, one with coloring. I don't know because for bourbons, these are going to be about the same proof. Otherwise, I wouldn't put them together. But all right, I don't know. I'm gonna do B. Hmm. Yeah. No, these are definitely bourbons. Oh my goodness! <laughs> what? Come on! Right? That's so. <laughs> Oh my God. I don't even know which one I'm supposed to think is. Oh, based off the nose, I can't put one ahead of the other right now. Like I get actually. like, I don't know if you've been to like a fair where they're like actually like making the honey roasted like pecans like yeah, right there like fresh. That's yeah. I don't know. That's what I get out of this. Like it is rich, oh my gosh. dark, oh. burnt brown sugar, some type of like oily not like it a, does have the, that it does have that scent of toasted um yeah like mm -hmm. the skin that's in between the shell of a of a um like a walnut mm. and the actual nut itself yeah. like when you toast those or when you make roasted mm -hmm. nuts you know like spiced yeah. roasted nuts that shell has its own or that skin has its own like scent and that is really what i'm getting too just kind of like i'm like i don't know why but like i feel like i'm sitting by a fire on like a yes. winter night oh and this gosh. and like this written in like candlelight yes this is i can't i also <laughs> i mean but this one is still amazing so i They're, really can't <laughs> put one ahead of the other based on the nose right now so i'm gonna have mm -hmm. to start sipping i'm blown away at the color difference i swear these got to be bourbons but I'm gonna sip. okay mm. oh. 
Ugh. Yum. Oh my gosh. Yes. Um. Wow. That's amazing. That that is almost actually exactly what the nose is like for me. Mm-hmm. The palette is a is almost identical to the nose, which doesn't always happen for me. I don't know why, but but I Man. get exactly the bakery shop mm-hmm. and the caramel, yeah, and like a g- green apple, mm-hmm. and oh my goodness, a little bit of cinnamon, some Dutch, yes, co- some Dutch cocoa. Oh, that's green good. apple, and like, Dutch cocoa, cinnamon. Salt. Yeah. Like, sorry. No, go for it. I'm disagreeing with you. Like, yeah. I, said, I have like, there's a salinity on the there finish. There is, yeah. This is really good. Like, I would be happy just sipping on this. Me too. I want to sit out mm. inside. Oh my gosh. I just sip this. This is like a summertime sipping whiskey. This is like a wintertime. Hmm. Man, there's like a slight bit of like berry. Hmm. Almost like a raspberry, like a tart. See, the tartness I'm p- picking up apple. on is like green apple, yeah, like a granny I think, smith yeah, or something. That's a better way to describe it. I like I I'm that. I really like that. Oh my gosh. Okay. I f- I almost want to cleanse my palate between these. I was having the same you thought. Want a topo chico? Can okay. you guess a topo chico? Yeah, I'll be right back. Thank you. Oh, oh. Yes. Thank you. Hey, guess what? Oh, never mind. <laughs> it was like a leaky tire. It's like, oh. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> <laughs> what? No, I wouldn't do that. I am not about farts at all. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Palette cleansed with mm. one of the best mineral waters ever. Topo Chico. Little gopher. Little gopher. Topo Chico, you need to sponsor our videos. I'm telling you what. Mm. Let's set this right here. Okay, I'm stoked. It's like, see, these are very different. Like, who put these together? <laughs> huh. I expected more in the I... palette. Like it's watery. I did too. It's tannic. There's like that oak. Like I think what I was picking up is like f- fresh, um, freshly made like candied nuts from a bear. Like that darkness, or I said like burnt brown sugar is actually yeah. tannic oak, like barrel char. Like on the finish, it's the nose is deceiving. Yeah, it is. I'm yeah. not. Like, I expected so much more, and I feel let down. Hmm. Hmm. It. I mean, it's decent, but it... Yeah. Like, it goes away so fast. Like, initially, it's like, boom, and then gone. Like, caramel. Yeah. That dark like burnt brown sugar nuttiness and then it goes away in salinity yeah i'm gonna say a so there's actually like for me sometimes in mm. cooking or in baking you use browned butter which is mm. just butter that you you melt in a saucepan until it's browned literally yeah. and there's the smell of that not the taste of it but the actual smell of the browned butter in that for me yeah but it's interesting that this is comparatively so weak because I was kind of expecting it to maybe yeah. outshine this one. I mean, we really even like, we like cleansed our palate. We were like, gotta be prepared right. for this one. And it's the, not. 
this is surprising it. like definitely green apple i think you're yeah. right green apple almost like a caramel green apple you know exactly yeah this is this surprisingly is so good. good yeah this ugh, wow mm. yeah it is the winner for me for sure um that's weird it almost tastes this is so much more just like of an experience across the full palate. That. So, what do you think we're drinking? Love, you think we're drinking bourbon? bourbon? Okay, oh, yeah. bourbon. And ninety proof bourbon, and okay. just the color blows me away. Like, yeah, the color. B is crazy. like four times as dark. Like this yeah. is like dark, like dark honey, and this is like urine sample when I had too much <laughs> vitamin B. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I had to pee in those samples every three days, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I gosh. don't. It's every four days. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Okay, so we're gonna say B. Okay, well, how much would you pay for these? I'm gonna say they're ninety proof bourbons. Okay. You you know what we can get for? Um, I don't know that I would buy B again. I, I'm kind of with you, actually. Surprisingly, on our on our inventory of bourbons, I don't know that I would go for that one again. Mm -hmm. um, I'm with you. And then, but if you had to pay something for it, ugh, I don't want to pay negative three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I want my money back. Just yeah. kidding. Um, this is probably a like it drinks like a sub twenty dollar bourbon. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. So I, yeah, if I can get away with paying no more. Whoops. <laughs> what? <laughs> Chanel, we're on camera. You shouldn't do that. It's okay. I still love you. I, you know what is great is in five minutes you're going to be like, can you smell my farts? And I'm going to be like, yes. Because you literally I, don't think your farts smell. I was excited. I'm sorry. It just, it snuck out. Yeah, we're talking about whiskey, it snuck not out. farts. It was really what squeaky. What do you know on this one It now? was really <laughs> squeaky, not sneaky, love. That's right. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. You're like the best one. Like, you think it's funny. It is funny. Fart. I love, like, Farts are funny, people. Can we all just get there as a as a group? You're amazing. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> okay. Okay. What would you pay for A? This one. Gosh, you know what? I really, really enjoy this one. I'm probably overshooting because I don't actually no. know a whole lot about you know. No, it's fine. It's like the what, in the moment. But like, I really, really enjoy this, and I can tell it's more of a summery mm -hmm. bourbon. But I would drink this any time of the yeah. year. I would like yeah. to just have this in our inventory all the time, and I would pay. I don't know. I would. I would pay anywhere from probably sixty-five to eighty for it. I know that's like a wide range. There's a, you know, that's $15 difference in there or $25 proof difference whiskey. in there. But well, I, yeah, I guess I could see it. You, we have some Jefferson's Ocean or Jefferson Ocean double oak rye and we have Jefferson's like twin oak bourbon. They're mm -hmm. like 80 and 90 ish. They're really good and you really I like, like those. them. You polish those bottles really, and I had to be like, we need to save this I for the show. I didn't polish the bottles. Okay. You did. You were like, no, <laughs> you polish them. Anyways. Like, I don't think this costs fifty dollars, but I would pay fifty bucks for this. I would even pay more. I actually really enjoy it. Here's the thing. Yeah, I, I agree. Okay, Blanton's, mm -hmm. which everyone goes nuts for, and I yeah. pass up bottles regularly. They're offered mm -hmm. to me. I'm like, no, because we have an open bottle and one unopened bottle in the cool like little velvet bag. And I've given, I gave a, one of like our new bottles away. And the other two bottles I had, I drank them halfway and I gave them away. This Blanton's, I think, is like 60, 65 bucks down our area. Mm. I would take this over Blanton's any day. Yeah. Any day. Me too. Like, I would pay, f I, yeah. With that in mind, knowing that Blanton's costs that much, I would equal Blanton's price for this, but I would like to pay 50 bucks for it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah? You yeah. ready to find out what they are? I am. B. Who has B? I have B. Okay. Man, watch it be something we usually like. We love. We love. And it's like, whoa, really? What? Oh, crazy. What did I say? This is Burnside's 
Buckman RSV, like reserve, it's a 10 year, 90 proof, $65. And it's double barreled. Like, so it's, it's that dark blue one. Can you grab it there? Oh yeah. Yeah. So Burnside's, this is their, you see this like black label. I think their regular ones are like red or something, but this is like their black label special series. So crafted with 10 year old bourbon whiskey finish and organ oak casks. Um, man, so this should be way better. It's 10 years old, double oaked, organ oak, Corcus Gariana, Gary Oak. We're just going to call it organ oak. We're from Oregon. It's awesome. <laughs> like, I have to say Burnside, like... Wow. On its own, I, I like this one. Yeah. It's, I don't think it's worth 65 bucks, but they don't distill their own whiskey. Okay. So they're non-distiller producers. So they're, they're always going to cost more. That's crazy. Okay. Well, <laughs> I feel like a dummy for buying that. I, it, looked, it sounded good. It was on. Yeah. I think it was on sale when I bought it. But like, well, and we always like to, you know, try try, especially something yeah. Oregon. Yeah. You want to in ten year age. I love an age statement, especially with bourbon. Like, come on, ten years is like ten years and above. Or is just like they get awesome. All right. We ready for a? Yes, I, that makes sense. Why it's so dark? It's double oaked. Okay. But I'm surprised it tasted like. That's crazy. What? Eagle Rare. Oh. 10 year. 90 proof. $39. Yeah, baby. Eagle Rare for the win. Dang. Man. Okay, That's crazy. So, oh, yeah. This guy right here. Oh, sorry. Well, it's okay. I yeah. was like, yeah. I'm not sure what was happening. Okay, Eagle Rare for the win. So, you know what's weird? Eagle Rare for me is a bourbon that changes so much depending on what is on my palate. Yeah. I've said this before. Sometimes, like, depending on what I've eaten or, or drink, I'll have some, and I've, I've been like, this bottle is garbage, and I've given <laughs> it away. I'm like, I will never drink this. And then, like, I'll have it again after something else, and it's like the sweetest, richest, like, cherry, oak, vanilla, deliciousness. I have... It's so interesting... You need to get yourself a bottle of Eagle Rare and try it back to back with other things because it's one of those whiskeys that changes so much. Another one that changes so much, we're gonna have to like review on its own. It's a Scotch. This Glen Allocky oh, 12 year Glenallocky just is really like a chameleon. Good. It's it so is. good. It changes with, with water, with ice, with others compared mm -hmm. to other whiskeys. But anyways, back to this. That I've never had this taste like green apple for me like regular buffalo trace 90 proof buffalo trace which it's the same mash bill just not as old like six to eight years old i will get green apple and caramel oh, interesting. on it yeah. i almost thought this was we have a store pick a single barrel of buffalo trace which is to me it's better i think than like regular buffalo trace this particular store pick but that's so interesting. Something double oak like this, this gets lighter. Usually Eagle Rare is very dark and rich. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go, man. I said I'd pay 50 bucks. You'd pay 60 to 65. People pay, I think probably online, I see like 90, 95 bucks. But fortunately for now, we can still buy this fairly easily. Stores don't always put this out on the shelf anymore, but like I'll go in and talk to them and they're like, hey, we got this. I'm like, okay. Yeah. There's a store local that will put it on the shelf when they get it, but they haven't got it for a while. Mm -hmm. I'll get a couple bottles, yeah. but. Yeah. Man. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. I mean, th this is good. Like, on its own, it's good, but you'll rare for the win. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What do we say now? We say like. Mm-hmm. And comment, mm -hmm. subscribe, mm -hmm. and Sh thank you. And share your experience with these. Would you like us to put any one of these in a double blind like this with something else? But yeah. Thank you.